I've got a monthly nurture sequence running, or is it a, sorry, a welcome sequence. And I want to then move those people into a whole other sequence so that they don't just drop out the bottom. So what we mean by this is you obviously have a welcome email sequence. When a new contact um, joins your contact list, you should all have some kind of welcome sequence that will then send them a bunch of tips over a certain period of time. I recommend between 10 to 22 tips should be in this initial welcome sequence. That's giving them really helpful information with a PS first name, here are all the ways that I can help you get X result. Yeah, so contact joins your system and then you simply have wait for a week and send an email. Then you have a wait for a week or whatever period of time you've chosen and send an email, wait for a week, send an email. And that could go on for 10 to 22 emails in what we call the welcome sequence. Yeah, so everyone following me with what the welcome sequence is. Welcome sequence, boom, there. Nice. Now, what happens at the end? Now, at the very end, at the moment, all these people just pfft, fall off. As soon as they get to the end, that's it's done. They fall out the bottom. What I recommend you have at that point is there's actually another action step. You press the plus button, and it's called start a new workflow. Okay. So, start a new workflow is the next action from here. Start workflow. I'll show you it in just a second. And then the, simply the workflow will say, what workflow do you want to begin next? And you're going to say, cool, the next workflow I want them to move into is what we call the ongoing nurture sequence. And this is exactly the same in that all it is just a simple ongoing sequence of tip based emails, a tip in whatever it is that you cover that then has a, P, a, a PS at the bottom, here are all the ways I can help you do that. Wait for a week or whatever period you've chosen and then send another email. Now, what you do is every single time you create a piece of content, a blog post, a video, you're going to make that part of your workflow is to add it to your ongoing nurture sequence. You've created another blog post. You're going to add that to your ongoing nurture sequence and this goes on this sequence basically you keep pressing add at the bottom and you just keep adding to it and adding to it and adding to it for the rest of time so that when people come through this welcome sequence which is usually the only thing you'd ever really update based on any new products that you've got or anything like that when they finish that they're going to go here okay and now this goes on and on and on forever so that this is just constantly growing as time goes on so you just keep adding to it all the time and it, you'll be amazed as long as you're doing one post a week at the very least uh, you're always going to be ahead of the customers that have that are up here somewhere as long as you're a week ahead you're always going to have something else for them to follow now for people to actually get into this ongoing nurture sequence because obviously they're going to have fallen out from here all you're going to do is just go into your contacts select contacts and add them to workflow. It's called a bulk action. So I'm just gonna show you both of these steps right now. So let's go into automated workflows. And first we're gonna show you how you add that action step. Here's a welcome sequence with 11 tips in it. Obviously it's an example. So the trigger for a welcome sequence is that you have a new contact in your system and then you will send them all your emails. Here's all of my tips. And here you will see at the very end of this sequence, it says move them to the ongoing nurture sequence. So to do that, you press add an action, let's move you guys out of the way, and type in workflow. I always type in just work and it brings up the actions. Add to a workflow. Which workflow do you wanna add them to? And then you might have an ongoing nurture sequence. I don't have an ongoing nurture sequence in this pretend account, but let's pretend that that's my, let's pretend that's my ongoing nurture sequence. Okay. Boom. So now every time somebody gets down to that stage, they're going to be automatically moved to the ongoing nurture sequence. Now, when you create your ongoing nurture sequence, that won't have a trigger. So let me just press start from scratch, start a new workflow. There will be no trigger because another workflow is what adds them to here. Make sense? It's the email welcome sequence that has the action step at the bottom that says move them to the ongoing nurture sequence. 
And so all I would have here is a tag that simply says is now in the ongoing nurture sequence. Is now in the ongoing nurture sequence. My face. All right, add the new tag, save. And then you're simply just going to start adding your emails. Add an email, wait for a week, add an email, wait for a week, add an email, wait for a week. And this just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger as time goes on. That's it. That's all you need to do with that one. But yes, all you would need to do is you can either use the filters or you would just simply go through. Here's all of your pretend. I'm just this is all my pretend account. So you just select all of your people, just FYI, or you can select everyone and press add them to an automation. And that's then how you would say to the system. Yes, I do want to add these people to a workflow. Which one? Okay, and then you would choose, I would say, add them to the ongoing nurture sequence and then boom, add them to automation. And that will now put them all in that ongoing nurture sequence.